I got a question for, for this right here. Let me ask you a question. What did you say your last name was again? Shabazz? That's, that sound, um, that sound more like uh, Muslim. Yeah, I know, I know. That's, that's, that's why I would, I'm gonna show you something. Just like officer was saying, how can we be the same people and have different last name? That really have nothing to do with the Bible. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, read verse 64, same thing. No, read verse 15 again, so so we don't lose the thought. Okay, read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, so the scriptures say, if we don't listen and follow all God's commandments and statutes, all these curses that is listed in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, going to come and fall upon the children of Israel. Right. By any shadow of a doubt, nobody else can claim to them but us. Now watch this. Now, verse 64, exactly. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. To show you, it's the same. They all have a part on our fallout. Read that again. Read that for me. 64. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. God will scatter us among all people. What's the other, what's the other uh, sign that's showing us scattering? Watch this. We're showing you biblical proof that we are the children of Israel. Nobody else went through this. It says he will scatter us. Read that. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. See, he says he will scatter us from one end of the world, even unto the other. Didn't that happen to us? My bad. Didn't that happen to us? Look. They got us from uh, uh, all West Africa, South Africa, uh, uh, Madagascar, uh, Mozambique, all those areas, they got us and brought us here. Right. South America, North America, the island. These are the children of Israel. Right. Watch this. Read on. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. It says when we get to those areas that we'll be scattered to, when we get there, we will uh, 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 start worshiping other gods that our forefather never worshipped. Read. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. The wood stand for Christianity with the cross. Y'all can, can attest to that, right? The cross is made out of wood. We always saying we wear that cross to remind us of Jesus Christ. Guess what? What about the stone? Bring it up. The stones stand for the uh, 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 Muslim, Mecca. Those that are Muslim, you, if, if your family do it, follow that uh, tradition, you will know what I'm talking about. They, all, they usually have what they call uh, homage, right? The homage. They'll go and, and every year uh, to, to uh, bow down, they go around that, that big... Uh, uh, square thing that have a stone a black stone that they claim to be the stone that fell from heaven in, in time of abraham okay they use that stone to worship but guess what the scriptures say that the children of israel will be worshiping other gods even wood and stone right. wood stand for christianity a, a stone stand for muslim those are the two major religion that control our people today but guess what the Arabs, how you doing today, my brother? The Arabs, they play a part on our slavery too. Right. Guess what? Even till today, they selling our brothers and sisters in Africa. Did That's you know that? Right. You know that. But let me ask you, is your parents or you are also a Muslim? You're not, but your parents probably was. Okay. What's that? They're from Nigeria. That makes sense. Because a lot of a lot of people from uh, uh, Africa, Nigeria, especially when you go to Morocco, there's a lot of them that are um, uh, Muslim. But guess what? These traditions end up forcing them to our people, right. just like Christianity. We're forced, guess what, sis? You worshiping one or the other. If I were to ask you what uh, color is Christ, who is this guy right here? What would you say? Speak very, very well. That's the wisdom, and that's the truth. All in the world. Shalom, Israel. 
This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Honest answer, because I was once a Christian. I'll tell you. Who is this guy right here? Supposedly Jesus. What do you say, my brother? Who is this guy right here? You can put it down. Huh? We all will safely say this guy is what they give us as Jesus Christ. Muslim play their part, so is uh, 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 the so-called white man. I'm going to show you what God says. Give me Psalm 83. Watch this. Pay attention. I'm going to show you God already prophesied all these nations going to stand against you. Right. Because you stay in the bottom, they can continue ruling. Right. But the moment you realize who you are, their rulership is over. Watch this. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. If gods have enemies, obviously God people will have enemies too. Would you agree? Right? Watch this. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate God, they lift up their head. How do they do that? They become very prideful. They see the amount of atrocity that they have done to God's chosen. Think about it. When we were brought here as slaves, over, over 70 millions of us didn't even make it to shore. We were, they were, uh, 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 they say shark used to follow the boats because they knew it was a custom of dropping uh, people in, in, in the sea. Either if it's getting too heavy, they don't want the boat to sink, so they'll drop us like by a bunch. The same thing goes with if anyone is sick, they'll go ahead and dump them by a group. This is our, uh, this is what we went through, and it didn't stop there. When we got here, we had to deal with slavery again, where they are forcing our young children from the age of uh, under, under two, three years old on the cotton field picking up cotton. And here we are today. We are comfortable. Get up. We think everything is all good. Watch this. Read that again. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. A crafty counsel is a secret gathering when they have meeting when you're not there. Do you guys think that stopped? This was going on back then. It's still going on today. They have secret meeting against you. What are we going to do today to keep the so-called blacks in the bottom? What do they do? They give us religion. They give us politics. Right. They give us entertainment. Right. They give us football, basketball. They give us sports. These are nothing but destruction. Right. Our young sisters, guess what? We are misbehaving ourselves. They walking around with no sense. Guess what? Why am I saying that? Look, we are the most beautiful people on earth. Right. But without knowing who you are, your true worth, it means nothing. Right. You, here you are, you're a prince and a princess, you're walking like a bum. Or you degraded yourself by sleeping with, with anybody. That's not what prince do. That's not what princes do. But that's what we do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth